how are you? Today we will solidify our knowledge on communications between contracts. We will create a new file called hit calling communications 2. We will start with our classic pragma solidity carrot 0.4.0 and that's it. Today we will create a calculator that will communicate with a math library. So we first will create our math class or math library for call it some way. Math. It will be very simple. It will have a function where called add. It will have an int a and an int b. And it will return an int as well. It will be the result of the sum of both numbers. So it will return an int. And it's just that simple that you put return a plus b. And that's it. Then we will copy this function and we will create a multiply. Multiply function. It will also have an parameter a and b value int as a parameters and it will return an int and in t instead of the sum it will be the multiplication so that's it we already have our contract called math now we will create our contract called calculator calculator and it will have a reference to our math contract so we have math math equals new math a little repetitive then we will create a function that will add specific values. So it will be the functions uh, 2 plus 4. It will have no arguments and it will return math.add 2 plus 4. Of course, you need to put here that it constant returns int. <clears throat> and that's it. Now we will copy this function and we will create a function that has uh, two times four, two times four, and we will call math multiply instead of add, and it will also return a value of value int. Okay, that's it. Let's check our contract. We create the math contract, we create the calculator contract, and we can see the results. Two times four equals eight, two plus four equals six. Now, we will copy the address of the communications math uh, contract, it's copied, we will put it in here, we will remove remove the new reference <clears throat> and now we can have the contract specific uh, calling the math even though math will be not be in the same file, it could also be in the blockchain from the past so now we create it and we can see the same values now if I change a number instead of uh, 8 I will put a number 1, I will create the contract again and you have no information. So that way you can create contracts based on another contract and that you can use as libraries. Next video we will create our first really smart contract that will have a lot, a lot more utility. Now we have solid understanding of the basic stuff you can do on Solidity. So now we will keep going with examples of real life application smart contract. So subscribe, give it a like and let's keep it going. Bye guys!